coding. Made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy tutorial. And in this tutorial we are going to be learning about typecasting. So for the next few, to the next four tutorials, three or four tutorials, we're going to be learning about typecasting and I hope it's not too confusing. It is really uh, easy syntax, it's just knowing when to use it. And uh, I'm going to try to explain it as best as I can without going too deep into the subject, mainly because I don't want to confuse anybody. And if I go too deep, many, most of the information I'm going to be giving you is going to be really unnecessary. So I'm going to give you the unnecessary information. I mean, so I'm going to be giving you the necessary information. And as we continue with this tutorial series, we're going to look at the code on a much deeper, a much lower level scale, and you'll understand it from a from a deeper perspective. But anyways, um, if we look at our code, uh, if we have a float a variable, and I call it float variable creative, right? And we say 2.4, and just to let you guys know, the reason why I put f after it is if I don't put f, it detects it as a double. So putting it as an f detects it as a float, and therefore there's no loss of data. So if I want, if I made an int variable, and I set it to float variable, uh, what's happening? What's taking place is that this float variable is gonna be is gonna convert to this in uh, this variable right here. And if you wanted to assist your program, you could do a C style cast and put int in brackets. And what this would do is it, it would convert this to an integer. Now, um, this is not the safest way to do it, but it works, right? They're like types, they're, they're numerical types, and then we'll handle it for you. But what happens when we want to convert one class to another or convert an object to another or do some, uh, like say you want to convert a float to a class or you want to convert an int to a class or a class to an int. How do you control your data? Now you're probably not going to want to do that, but how do you do certain things like that? And there's some casting things that are very, uh, um, some things that are very useful in C++ and I'm going to be teaching you the four types of casting uh, in C++. So without further ado, we're going to begin. So in this tutorial, we're going to be learning about the dynamic class. And you know what? I think I already got this code. I don't want to waste time typing it. So I made a class called parent. I have two protected variables in X and Y. We set the position and we have a display. And the child class inherits from the parent class. So if I have, if I have a child class called C and I have a pointer to a parent, um we can do certain things with it now what i have to let you know is that with a dynamic class it can convert um it can work with any pointers or any references but you have to know that with dynamic class it works it converts pointers or references um to in a inheritance hierarchy if that makes sense and so we can convert derived classes to parent classes, but we can't do it vice versa. The only way we can do it the other way around is if the parent class is a polymorphic style class. Uh, so let's say we want to convert this child class into the parent class. We could easily say P is equal to, to a reference of C. And that's fine, but there's some cases where you would have to do something like this. So dynamic cast, say a pointer to a parent, and we take the reference of our child, and therefore this is the more type safe way type safe way in order to convert the child class to the parent class. Now why is this safer? If we were to just convert it to the parent class like that, if something was to go wrong or our code wasn't written properly, we could get errors. What a dynamic class does is it does a check before it actually converts it to the actual class and then if it is successful then it will convert the data to the actual parent and therefore it is more type safe now another reason why it is more type safe is that we have different types of casts so now instead of the compiler guessing how you want to cast it you're specifying how you want it to be casted and once we learn about the other different types of casts, you'll understand how 
um, more about which ones you should use and when you should or should not use one. Um, but that's basically it. So that's to use the dynamic cast. So basically, use a dynamic cast once you want to convert something to a pointer or to a reference of um, a class in a inherit in a hierarchical system. I hope I said that right. Using inheritance. So you cannot convert a parent to a child, but you can convert a child to a parent. So you can transfer that data using a type safe dynamic cast. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions, don't feel free to let me know and feel free to make a post on my forum and I will uh, I'll answer your question as soon as possible. So thanks for watching and bye for now.